presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Eddie in Boca Raton. Hey, Eddie, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you, man? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good. It is a treasure to have TFNN every hour during the trading day to be there to help you, to guide you, and even give you some peace of mind or like that, that somebody else is there with you while you're, while you're trading this crazy market, either well, up or down. Well, listen, we appreciate you growling and prowling us out here because we wouldn't be out here, folks, if we didn't have all you guys, gals, tigers and tigresses as clients. And, you know, the market teaches you every single day, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Don't take anything personal. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements. And I personal to you, it's no one's truth but yours. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 103, NASDAQ is off 326, SPs are down 62. That's a downdraft inside the Dow, folks, the three tenths of 1%, 1.4% in the SPs, and 2.4% in the NASDAQ. Gold, gold contract trading up $6.50 at 1992.60 an ounce. We have silver down seven cents, twenty-three dollars four cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck forty-eight, eighty-five dollars twenty-three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down twenty-one ticks, trading one hundred five twenty-two. The thirty-year off a full point plus seventeen ticks at one hundred eight fifteen. And king dollar, king dollar right now is trading up two hundred and fifty-three ticks at one hundred six five twenty-two. The euro is at 105, the yen's at 150, and the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's get into the futures first because the futures are jamming their lows right now, and let's see how these babies looking. So if we take a look at the S&P futures first, bring this up. The low for the day is 4203. We're at 4207. Look at this, interesting, man. Yeah, there's not enough, there's not enough juice down here. Now this gets really interesting too, because you know, we're down good, man. Uh, you know, 1.4%. That being said though, if you're watching Tiger TV, you can see these volumes down here, man. These volumes are anemic. That is saying that you could get a heck of a bounce coming into this close. When I say a heck of a bounce, let me just look at this for a second, because what is that number? 4220. Yeah, 42.29. Let me show you this for a second. So right here, so check this out. This is the last time that we had volume on the way down, right up there. Now that's also ice, okay, in, in an intraday basis. You can see you went down, you did a, you know, a good 50% retracement on the way up, gave it up in spades, come back down. You probably get an ABC in here. We do. We get an ABC structure in there. See, I finished the ABC. This market wants to pop on the way back up. This is going to be interesting, man. So that's on your S&Ps. Now let's go with the NQs because the NQs, we know the NQs are always highly volatile. They bring the market up and or down. And yeah, same setup, interesting. Okay, so the NQs, now watch how this goes. This gets really interesting actually because the NQs, the last time that you actually had volume on the way down is all the way up there, which is huge. One second. Pop that at the wrong place. It's right there. What number is that? That's uh, 14,732. No, can't be 732. Low. Sorry, folks, one second. How can I not see that? Oh, my God. 
642. Yeah, that's pretty intense. This is actually, uh, on the NQs, folks, it's 14,642, which is 180 points away. You know, so what we, we might have here, this is going to get interesting, what we might have here, you might get a run into the close, and then into the close. Let's go look at Meta, because Meta's going to come out with numbers. They're all down today, there's no doubt about that. You're down $12.5. They come, uh, they're coming out after the close, and they come out pretty quick. They're going to be looking to do uh, $33.5 the top line at 360 to the bottom line. Okay, so this is coming down. Yeah, you're coming into, though, you're coming into, you get 22 million, you're coming into 36. It's not enough either. So it, it depends. Really, Meta should get a, some kind of a little bounce coming as they close. We'll see if that, that happens. Because if you don't, if we're at still 300, the low is 299, that would say that we'll go to the bottom of this bar first. But, you know, the, the market in general looks to me like it wants to bounce. Now, we go over to the dollar index. We take a look at the dollar. Bottom line, you know, the dollar is as high as 106.532 today. And you're still hanging up there. You know, so we'll see whether the dollar, once again, is going to test the trend line, you know, the, the dollar broke the trend line, it broke it with conviction. You know, you had a conviction move the day before yesterday, then you had a conviction move on the way up yesterday. And then if we get into gold, well, actually, no, let's do the bonds next, because the bonds are running the market, too. So if we take a look at the bonds, you, the, they're pulling back once again. The 10-year right now, we've done 1.67, and you're coming into... 2. It's 2.3. Now, you don't have a rejection of lower price. So you need a rejection of lower price simultaneously. But you can see the contraction is happening. And then if we get into the 30 year, we've done 448,000 on the 30 year. We take a look at this. Come on. OK, so you're coming into yeah, 669. You can get to the bottom of that. The bottom of that, uh, that's the 107.04 again. We're at 108.15, but there's a contraction there, too. And then gold. We take a look at the gold market. Gold just wants higher price, man. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Now, no matter what the dollar does now, gold wants to go higher. You know, so you're up 650 today. You're building some cars. You got volume up here. See, see this volume? That, that volume even today, you don't have a lot of movement. You know, we got to 1998, you got back down to 1973. Intraday, there was quite a bit of movement. Uh, you get 229,000 contracts. That's great contract volume as you're pushing into highs. You know, so that swing point up there at that uh, 21 and 21.38, I think, is game. Uh, our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the Dow. The Dow's trading down 91. NASDAQ off 325. S&P's off 62. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading up 88. You get the Nasdaq up 320. S&Ps are up 61. Now, let's get inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. And I can see by looking at the Dow that in Microsoft there's going to be some of the strength out here. Well, I guess it's not. Uh, yeah, it is. It is. So we take a look at this, and point-wise, what you're going to have... Come on, baby. Load those securities. Let's go. <laughs> Why is that taking so long? Okay, one second. I got that. There we go. Okay, so yeah, Microsoft's the number. So you got Microsoft putting 62 positive points, Travelers 43, United Health 30. Taken away from it, you have uh, Salesforce minus 48. We have. Uh, Boeing minus 30, minus 30, you get Caterpillar minus 25. So if we go over to Microsoft, I mean, they just, they just blew it out of the ballpark. Man. I mean, it's pretty amazing what they actually did. So we take a look at Microsoft and, you know, and you get volume up here. So Microsoft's going, now two different things happen. Microsoft has a high volume high. So it wants to go back to its highs anyway, which is 366, okay? The numbers, okay, were, let me, Pull this up one second, sorry. That, okay. So we take a look at the numbers and these are some monster numbers, man. Okay, we, they did 56.5 billion and 299 to the bottom line. Now the difference is, you can see how much more money they actually put to the bottom line. Um, you know, they, they put some real numbers to the bottom line. You can see they took the same amount of money in, you know, last quarter. Uh, it took three, 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 three billion, no, 30, 30 million more. But they, they put some juice on it, man. Let's go to uh, Jim in Palm Harbor. Hey, Jim, what's going on, brother? Hi, Tom. I um, was in the car when you um, were talking briefly about the NQs to start. And what I, I've done now is I've just got home right off the computer. I'm looking at a three-year NQ. Oh. So that takes you back to October, November, which was the highs. Okay, one second. I'll put a three-year up. Okay. And I've got the weekly volume. And I'm looking at last week's volume was significant to the downside. 
And I, we're right back hanging on this cliff at, at 618, which to me is 14367. Well, let me do it this way. I'm going to bring the Qs up instead of the NQs. Just one second. Let me see. Okay. So you're going back I, three I guess years. What I'm looking at is it seems like we've been in a downtrend so long and we're due for a big bounce. And I'm looking now when you look at the three year, you're saying, wow, we really haven't come down that long and we've got a lot further to go down because we're, if we're at the 618, we could. Well, that's one way. That's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is that we're still almost at the highs. <laughs> Okay, the QQQ and the weeklies. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, it yeah. seems to people that we've had a significant downturn, but we really haven't. We've only come back. I know. Six one eight. I know. And now yeah. that's interesting. Now that I look at it. No, it is. I listen. The volume is really shriveled up. You know, we have this up, folks. Okay, so the high in the Qs was this uh, four four oh eight. Four. Is yeah, it four eight? Yeah. Is what I looked at, but I might be off the no, of it, digits. Yeah. So. You know, it is intriguing because the fact of the matter is that we came back quite a f way from these lows in last September. You know, I mean, look at this thing. It's right. actually pretty amazing, actually. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what was amazing. When I pulled it back to three years ago, and we really, we're right on a shelf here. Um, yeah. Way. So, so watch what happens here, too, folks. This is pretty cool. That because that retracement was so big, you know, now, now the downside of this consolidation is, is real low. There's no doubt about that. But what does happen is that normally when you do more than a 0.618 retracement of the leg down, you know, bottom line, we did, we did a 0.76, okay? We almost got to the highs. You don't, bottom line, normally go back to the lows. That's, the, that's, that's what normally happens, okay? We're showing that if you do anything over 0.618 or over, it's kind of it's showing that it's a strong market, man. That's that's what it shows, but you know, it's, this is a big so thing. If, Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just looking to see if we break this shelf. I guess I'm on a pivot. You just got to go with it either way. Yes, the shelf's important, and and see, it's not that well on the Qs. It's a lot further down than the spies. That's what is going on. I mean, you can see the the breakout in the Qs is a lot lower. I mean, we're at 350. The breakout in the Qs is like 330. So that's that's a big number, man. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's real possible. You, that's real possible, man. Have you man. talked about the bonds yet or, or the TLT? Because it looks like we're the same thing again. We're retesting that low from a couple of days ago. You, you are retesting it. Now, if I pull up the TLT, you're retesting it with dramatically lighter volume, though. We, we're dealing with the TLT, 46 million on the way down. You're down two bucks versus 70 million. But you got a hold price. I mean, you got a reject price, which we haven't done yet. We're at 83.27. On the TLT in 83.13 was the low today, you know, so okay. you, need, you need a rejection out here, there's no doubt. But that's what does happen at bottoms, too. I mean, you know, they, 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 you're not just going to shoot off this bottom inside the note and bond market. You know, it, it, there's going to be a cause building coming back, keep everyone really nervous, you know. So we'll see whether we get any bids uh, coming in. I mean, the dollar, you know, looked like it, you know, basically... It was up today. It was up pretty good. And that's hanging tough. And, you know, so that's, you know, putting some downward pressure on the market. There's no doubt about that. I think what you're going to see out here tonight is that, you know, last night you had Microsoft come in positive. Well, I believe here, let's look at IBM for a second. I believe IBM's coming out with this numbers after the close. While you're looking at that, do we have window, window dressing coming into next Monday, Tuesday, or? Yeah. No, yeah. What's no happening? Period. Now, this is where this gets interesting, folks, okay? Because. What you do have is that, come on, you have, yeah, Monday, Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday is the start, you know. Um, so we're, we're going right into that. I don't know about you, but it's scary to me. Rumor has it that Thanksgiving is right around the corner at the end of the year, and it, it's true. And I'm just wondering where the money manager is going to just, let's book the profits, let's take the five and a quarter percent for 60 days, and... See what happens. So well, we, we, we you know, they got to stay. They, really dry up now till well, the end of the year? What happens is that, that when you're up in the marketplace, right, that's one thing that they can take the money off the table. But, you know, they're not up in the marketplace right now. <laughs> so, you know, they got to try to grind it to be up. That's that's what this comes okay. down to. So, you know. Well, we shall see. Just now, it's interesting looking at those charts together. 
Um, it is. No, listen, it's it's a heads up. If you haven't looked at that, you know, what um, Jim's talking about, folks, okay, and we just brought up, bring them up tonight because you're going to be surprised about the size of the counter trend bounce that we actually did and how close the NASDAQ actually is, still is to the, to the highs. I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to take much, you know, to, <laughs> to basically, you know, get a, a rally going, you know, particularly because... It's been pushing on this level in a monster way. Let me just see what the arms is doing out here right now. So we got a 1.4 two days ago. Oh no, see so here it is. I'm showing 83, I'm showing yeah, 83 yeah, right yeah. now. It, it, what's happening now is that, you, you know, you, you got buying again. We're only at 0.75, so. Have a good one. Have, have a great one. one, have a safe one. Stay right there folks, come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious tech, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN don't forget you can listen to tfnn live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv welcome back folks to dow dow just is down 63 nasdaq's off 301 s&p's down 57 we have a speaker of the house folks uh, mike johnson from louisiana so now the next thing that we're going to start hearing about is uh, the bottom line, the budget. You know, the budget has to, you know, basically get, get rolled uh, out. And that's, uh, I believe, the drop dead date is November 18th. So I suspect these things are going to get done pretty quick because what does ha happen is that normally the, this is, a, a, of course, every two years in the House of Representatives, they're, they're always running for election. Um, so the bottom line is that 
they get, they got to get this thing done. They got to send these people home to run for election. So we'll we'll see how this whole thing shakes out. But uh, f you know, financial markets they're going to be they're going to be looking for it. And I suspect that it's not going to be that hard to get done. And the reason I'm saying that, folks, is that I think the because the the speakership went on so long, this was just one of these deals that everyone got tired. <laughs> and guess what? You, you keep those people in the room long enough, uh, any people, I'm, I'm, that's, any people, <laughs> you're going to get something done, man. So we'll see how the, the whole thing is going to come down. But I suspect that uh, the government will keep going, you know, you know, because of the deal that we just actually went through. Let's go to NVIDIA, NVDA. Take a look at NVIDIA out here. So NVIDIA, they're going to be coming out with their numbers on the 21st of November. The low for the year in, in NVIDIA is uh, 126, the highs 502. Right now you're trading out at the 416 level. And yeah, see, this, that's light volume. That's, I mean, with the, the, the deal with NVIDIA that you have to watch out for if you're long NVIDIA is that the gap from their last earnings is so dramatic. You know, the gap is, what is it down there? You're, we're at 419, the gap is like at almost 300. You know, so the closer, well, what ended up happening is this. If this, this thing ever broke just the lows of two days ago, I'd be real worried, you know, that you're going to get sucked right into this gap. And that, it would be a monster freaking move. I mean, because that is a gap and a half. It's just huge. We go over to Google. So last night, what ended up happening after the close, and you see this happen a lot, you had the yin and the yang. The, the, the yang, of course, was the... Microsoft coming out, great numbers. The Yang was Google, you know, not performing. So would you have a Google today? Google's breaking a swing, and Google came right back. This is, this is, this is an indication that when these gaps are below, you have to really watch them. Because what, in Google's case, that's exactly what it did. It gapped down, and it gapped right into the last time they went had earnings. Now, the problem with Google is that this is gapping into that level with way too much volume. We take a look at the weekly. Yes, if you take a look at this weekly now, what's going to happen is that, number one, you didn't make the highs. Then if we take this, this is a break with conviction, meaning it's going to be a great break with conviction on the weekly. It's going to have volume behind the move. So number is that? That's... 123. Well, you're getting close. The next number here is about 123 where you get some uh, action. And in Google's case, let's see what they did. Google came out with 64.1 billion and they brought, uh, what the heck is it? <laughs> not quite sure. That's interesting. It, it's not there right now. Anyway. Now, Qualcomm, check this out, man. So Qualcomm comes out with a stronger, better, more, well, po more powerful chip than Apple and Intel. And two different things are going on is that it uses less power, but yet is still um, more powerful by, I believe it's by 69%. It's some, by some big number, man. Now, that didn't save... Qualcomm today, but if you are looking for something, let me put this on a weekly. Yeah, I mean, keep your eye on Qualcomm, man, because what's happening is that it's coming to the, the bottom of the consolidation, and I think it will actually get to that bottom, which is right now you're at 105. 101's the number. Because if, if you don't break the bottom of that consolidation, you know, bottom line is that you're going to go back up the other side, which is, you know, the one... 39. Oil. Let's go to the oil market. We take a look at oil. You got the Middle East on fire. We'll see how the whole thing shakes out per countries. 394,000 contracts today, and it didn't make it to the lower end of consolidation. So you're consolidating out here, but I believe there's going to be some volume. Yeah, it's going to be some volume. So now you're going to go right back up to the highs again. Not the highs, but the last high that we had up here. Last high we had up here was the 89.85, and we get into the XLE, and we take a look at the XLE. 
Ah, it's not moving. Interesting. Okay. That's not good. Slight volume, but it's not moving. So that's saying that it does want to go to the bottom of the consolidation right there. And what, is, what has happened, too, by the way, is that you talk about, you know, between Exxon and Chevron, right? Was it Chevron that bought uh, Hess? CVX. Yeah, Chevron bought Hess. So picture this. What you have here, this is where it's going to get interesting even for the uh, XLE in general. This was a huge, in both cases, they were huge deals. In both cases, they really were a huge real estate grab for the future. And what they also were is an indication that in both cases, Exxon and Chevron figure that oil's not going away. <laughs> that's what they're making the bet on. The thing that's always so intriguing is that when you do get to highs, and commodities, and you stay there for a while, most of these CEOs can never stop buying companies. And what tends to happen is that then you come off the high, and then it takes another five to 10 years for those companies to basically, you know, make money for the company. That being said, in those extra five to 10 years, then all of a sudden it's a deal of a lifetime. <laughs> that's, that's, how, that's how they seem to shake out. In this particular case, it, it's absolutely a huge real estate play, you know, because there's not gonna be a lot of other players that can get in the middle in both cases because you got Exxon with Pioneer, you got Hess with uh, Chevron. And if you, if you ever, um, what is it? That one guy, I, I read this so long ago, it's the, the history of oil. And it's a great book, man. It's uh, it's really thick. You, you had uh, plenty of tigers would know the guy that wrote it. He's a great writer, um, and it's so intriguing reading it because it goes back to the Rockefeller. It goes back to I forget the guy that started Hess, but it goes back to him. Um, they they did different things. Hess, what Hess did, the guy's name was Hess. What he did was just so smart, and that's how he grew so quick. He vertically integrated right off the bat. He had the oil wells and went right for the gas stations. Kicked out everyone in the middle. Boom, 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 boom. That's how he, that's how he grew so fast. Dow, Dow Industrials right now, uh, for, down 43. NASDAQ off 294. S&P's off 54. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow down just right now down 69. Nasdaq's off 305. S&P's off 58. So check this out, man. This is these banks just never die. So Silicon Valley Bank, right? We know Silicon Valley Bank upside down. Bottom line is that they went into receivership. They got auctioned off. Well, the folks that bought it on the auction, you know, there's a big, uh, it's called the Money 2020 Conference, and it's all for big, basically big banks, technology companies, payment companies in Las Vegas. And <laughs> you got Silicon Valley Bank there, bottom line, you know, uh, here, let me, let, me give you the, let me give you the ads that are running across the, oh, here, yeah, it's, it's better if I actually put it up this way so you can see it. This is, this is something else, man. But it's, it's probably showing that they're going to be alive again, which is just amazing. Well, it's not amazing because you start from zero when you auction it off. So here it is. Silicon Valley Bank. See how right they may help you through MVPs to IPOs. Yes, SVP. <laughs> so they're out in Las Vegas right now. Bottom line, you know, raising money. That's, that's the bottom line. And that bank itself, okay, so... The reason that that bank itself um, really can get business is that, and, and we'll see whether, you know, they can hold on to what they had prior that the old Silicon Valley Bank had. Because what they had is this, is that they would go after the entrepreneurs, but they were set up for entrepreneurs to basically feed money into them on a continual basis at rates that they could handle, number one. But then what they were also basically doing is that, you know, when you get an IPO, folks, okay, you get an IPO, you get clients that have a lot of stock. The real kicker is, is that how do you insulate that stock, you know, basically, you know, when, you, when you're lending money. Well, they were into that whole deal, too. I mean, the, the biggest problem they made is that the worst trade in the world. And if I've learned anything in this business in, what, the last 40 years, is that you see this happen a lot, man. <laughs> you know, I, I remember when I was first getting into this business, I couldn't figure out how people actually got into positions and could have something that seemed so common sense but yet, evidently, it wasn't. I mean, so picture this. None, none of us, uh, well, I mean, there's probably plenty of listeners that are probably in the financial business, meaning the, the registered part of it. Um, but could you imagine that you just keep buying bonds and Powell just keeps going up in rates and you don't even flinch? Like, that's insanity. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's, that's past insanity. And that's what they did. And, you know, and the difference, this is what the difference was. And I'm sure that they're looking at it. They're looking at it kind of like Lehman, you know, the Lehman moment. And what it is, is that after this happened, we know now how much the actual Morgan Stanleys of the world, the Goldmans of the world, the Bank of Americas of the world, 
uh, JP Morgan's of the world actually have the same bonds on their balance sheets and that they can price them out at 100 cents on the dollar because the Fed changed the rules. You know, so, you know, it, was, it wasn't just them. It was, and this is where, this is where it comes to, into also, and this is where people get so flipped out, and I don't blame them. You know, that banks, okay, what is that saying again, okay? When the profits are there, they get them, and when the losses are there, they socialize them to all the, everyone else. In this particular case, they didn't have to socialize the losses because what they ended up doing, the Fed themselves came in and said, okay, they're worth 100 cents on the dollar. Now, the reason the Fed did that, my take, is they had to do that not because the banks are going to go south. That, that's probably one re good reason. But the second reason is they need all these bond people to keep buying bonds, man. <laughs> so what they have to do, what the Fed has done, is that they insulate bondholders from putting losses on the balance sheet of banks in order to, you know, have the government continue to push out bonds. That's what it comes down to. And those are the things that you actually have to navigate I think that when you're doing bigger trades, because if I learned anything, you know, if you didn't see the big shot, right? That was a great movie. And, you know, listen, man, I go shot a lot in the marketplace and have, okay? And it's never easy, okay? But what I learned on that one is that those guys that actually did go shot the housing market, they were just, number one, they were tough in a monster way because it wasn't a, clean deck you know those those the pricing models of the it's called the abx that was that's what they were shot in, okay it was like a fixed deck because all the banks were basically on the other side of it now it crashed because they couldn't hold it up any longer and, you know, it fell apart in two or three days. But if you haven't seen that movie, it's a great movie to see because of that fact, because it's not something you'd want to get involved in. <laughs> not at all. I mean, not even close either. OK, now, the intriguing part about it is that we're going to start hearing more about it again because there is a recycle that's going on. And what's happening is that it's the same type of deal that the person that is basically shotting the ABX versus, you know, you never know who's really on the other side, but most times it's always the banks, right? The, the pricing model is still fixed. So it's like, why, why do it? Well, you know, that's, that's the real bottom line. So there's not a lot of, you know, you get the gist of it. It's even when you're in that professional level, um, you really get a, watch it you get to you actually got to watch it even more because the the bigger that the trade gets the bigger that the banks are going to make sure that that trade doesn't work and all they have to do is hold you off for a certain amount of time and because it is a fixed deck they can hold you off for a certain amount of time that's kind of that's kind of how it shakes out let's go take a look at the gdx because there's no doubt you know i mean we still have interest rates that are high but guess what they still buy, they're still buying gold, man. If we take a look at the GDX, this is a good situation, man. We get 12, 17 million shares today. You know, you're, you're down 42 cents, but you're actually pushing, you know, we got to a high, higher high than the last two, two days. It's actually pushing highs with volume expanding. You know, that's, that's a good setup, man. Uh, let's go take a look at AU. Okay, yeah. You consolidate note here. You're building more cars. That's what's happening inside this gold market. You know, and we're at a really sweet spot right now because you know you're you're already up at this uh, 1991, and when you take a look at it, the your next swing point, man, is like I believe it's 2138. Let's see. Yeah, like 2120. It's not that far away. It's only 30 bucks. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow is down 80, NASDAQ is down 314, S&Ps are off 60. It, it, uh, S&P didn't move, folks. Let's go take a look at it. It's still at these lows, which is going to be dangerous because we're already basically below the level. So, we take a look at the SPY for a second. Well, actually, look at the Qs, because Meta is going to move the Qs. That's how this is going to shake out. So, and you get an expansion of volume. So, you're breaking a swing. You have volume on the break. You know, that's actually saying that we are going to get down to these, uh, these lower levels. That's how this is set, set up right now. Let's go over and take a look at Meta for a second. So they're going to be looking for 33.5 billion and 360 to the bottom line. And this is coming down with volume too. So this is the meta looks like it's going to basically, you know, come down after the close, which is going to bring the Qs down, the NQs down, the whole ball of wax, you know, because you, you do have a high volume low at lower levels inside meta. So we'll see where this baby shakes out, but uh, I, I suspect this is going to be fast and furious because of the fact most times uh, uh, Facebook does come out like ASAP right after the close. Now, if we take a look at, let's see how much fear we get built up here. So the arms is laying at 0.76, which means they're buying the market, man, the market's down. 
So we, we got that 1.4. That was on Friday. 1.1 Monday, 1.1 yesterday. But today ruins the whole 10 day again. That's, that's how this thing shakes out, man. You know, because we dropped off. Let's see. We just dropped off a 1.1, 1 0.75, a 1.2. And we added a 1.1, a 1.1, and a 0.76. So lower prices are going to come at us. More fear is going to come at us. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit us tomorrow morning. Tommy kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get them, folks.